uh, Banada, uh, who is the president of communications, uh, media and information services at TCS. Let's listen in. Yeah, I think the it's a very important win for us because it earmarks in some ways a milestone for us. Uh, as we have been anticipating, telcos will undergo a transformation of uh, a business model change when they shift from being pure network and connectivity services companies to really digital services and platform business. Uh, Cellcom has this ambition and uh, they chose TCS to uh, really enable this transformation. We have brought in both TwinX and Hops, these are two TCS platforms, to really accelerate this uh, transformation for their business. What it means to them is really shift, the, bring in new abilities for them to rapidly launch new products and services primarily in the digital services area, bringing capabilities of their own products as well as partner products together, ability to really do ecosystem, so ecosystem orchestration, so both their products and partner products coming together. And what it allows them to do is to rapidly launch new products and services in the market ahead of their competition. So it's really a, product, a, a capability we will enable them in their growth and transformation journey. As, as an operator from being a pure connectivity company to really a digital services and platform company. Okay, so surely that's uh, interesting. Uh, you know, if you could give us a bit more uh, insight and information about, you know, what it means furthermore for Kelcom uh, in terms of value addition, especially coming in uh, for Kelcom. So, you know, if you really look at their business growth, the business growth for telcos will really come from new products and services primarily digital services. Uh, you know, the connectivity play will has saturated, uh, the ARPUs are remaining stagnant. So they really need to add more services to their product offerings, yeah? And uh, to be able to do this uh, rapidly uh, is the key here for the business. So they have to rapidly innovate because market is very dynamic. They are no longer competing just with telcos, they're also competing with a lot of other companies, tech companies like hyperscalers and so on. So for them to do things rapidly, innovate very quickly, bring new partners on board, bundle solutions together with their partners and sell it to the consumers or enterprises is really the key for telcos. And what we are allowing them to do is to really uh, exactly this capability. Earlier it used to take telcos uh, three, six months to put a new product out. With this new capability, they are able to put a new product out in a day. Uh, so if, if they look at a market opportunity, if they see a shift in the pattern of consumers or enterprises, they can conceive a product, quickly innovate, create, create its own solution, and launch it in a day. That's an agility we are looking at bringing to these companies to be able to then compete against hyperscalers who have this agility uh, because these are native digital companies. So telcos really have to shift their game to become native digital by having this capability. That's absolutely right, Mr. Kamal. And, you know, obviously, uh, digital is the way ahead and everyone will have to catch up with that. But, you know, if you could uh, shine some uh, light on uh, the relevance of the deal for TCS in terms of the growth and the transformation strategy coming in for the company. Right. As you know, TCS has been embarking on this journey of partnering with our customers in their growth and transformation. We see a huge opportunity for all enterprises uh, as they adopt digital, that it's really a play for them for their growth. And how, given that our depth and understanding of these industries across the globe, how TCS can play integral part or a key part in helping them in this journey. Uh, we are doing this across all industries, uh, and I can talk a lot more about telecom. Uh, as 5G comes in, the bigger play for 5G is really in the enterprise enablement. Yeah. Uh, consumer enablement is obviously the first step, but more so the value creation for 5G will come in enterprise enablement. And it's not just giving them a faster connectivity, it's really bringing 5G along with AI, along with edge computing, along with AR, VR, and so on, and IoT combination together, and stitching completely new solutions across the industry value chains. That's where the real value of 5G or these technologies will be for enterprises. It's not just about faster connectivity. It's just not about a bigger pipe. It's really about bringing all these capabilities together and rethink an industry value chain. So 
So across many industry verticals, we have come up with many, many new scenarios that industries will unlock as a result of this confluence of these five uh, elements of technology. Uh, you look at healthcare, uh, back at home here, look at agriculture, uh, look at smart manufacturing, look at uh, mining, look at uh, uh, tourism, you know, you name an industry, look at media, our own industry here, media. We are reimagining how the new possibilities possibilities will arise because ID is able to unlock few of the capabilities that were not existent before. So for example, I am able to now do real-time monitoring of an assembly line operation, a, a high-speed assembly line by doing visual analytics on the fly and able to find product defects rather than having somebody stand there near the conveyor and pulling out a product when the product is in a defect, uh, if product has a defect, right? So visual analytics on the fly uh, through machine learning. That's possible today because we have brought in both 5G, AI, and edge computing together. Yeah, and that's what I mean by confluence of these technologies will create some completely new value for industries, yeah? We are able to create new solutions in the tourism industry for virtual tourism. So you could potentially do a safari and enjoy a, a visit to Rome without having to travel all the way. Or even if you're planning to travel all the way, extend that experience before and after. And we believe that's another new Philip you'll see in the, for the tourism industry. Yeah, uh, you can look at healthcare in a similar light. Look at me, our own media and entertainment in the similar light. That what are the new things we can do which we were not able to do because, before as a result. Yeah. So, for example, the holy grail for media is personalized content and personalized advertising. We believe that's around the corner because we can bring now both uh, ability of 5G. The edge computing and machine uh, AI and machine learning together to really do a mass personalization for content. So each one of us will see their own respective promotions and not really a mass promotion that's run on the networks today. So five together, yeah. Right. And before, you know, I do want to understand some more things on the 5G side. But before that, you know, if you could give us an understanding and help us understand, you know, the demand momentum point of view coming in uh, in the view of the telecom side. Uh, you know, uh, about two years ago, or I should say just about 18 months ago now, uh, as COVID arrived, all of us shifted to remote working. And frankly, we all became seamlessly, uh, we seamlessly shifted to this new way of working because telcos really stepped up to enable our connectivity, yeah? So in some ways, telcos had a brand redemption moment because they now are become a very... All right, and that was the management of TCS talking about the mega deal win. But let's